right, toddlers, we got some learning to do here. My nephew brought home another book the other day. It just burns me up. Now they want a politically correct up Christmas story so they don't offend nobody and everybody everywhere can enjoy it. So this is a story formerly known as Twas the Night Before Christmas. It is now called Twas the Night Before a Non-Denominational Winter Holiday. It was the night before a non-denominational winter holiday when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The neutral gift sacks were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that a non-specific holiday figure would soon be there. <laughs> Children of every race, creed, and nationality were resting all snug in their beds while visions of sugar-free plums danced in their heads. <laughs> when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I got up out of bed to see what was the matter and to see who was violating the neighborhood sound level ordinance. <laughs> but what in my wandering eyes did appear but an emissions-free vehicle, an eight-size challenge reindeer. <laughs> Holiday figure was so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be holiday figure. <laughs> he had a broad but normal face and advanced sized belly, and he laughed, Lady of the evening, Lady of the evening, Lady of the evening. <laughs> you believe that? What? what in the world? You can't even say ho, ho, ho no more. What kind of comic crap is this? I don't care who y'all. His name is Santa Claus, and he cracks deer with a horse whip, breaks into people's houses, drinks rum and eggnog, and looks like Uncle Jesse from Dukes of Hazard in the sky.